Welcome back, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be looking at the multi-calc stage. Multi-calc stage is important if you want to keep things clean and simple. What do I mean by clean and simple? So let's dive back into the process that we created in the previous video where we saw how to use just the simple calc stage without using the multi-calc stage and we did a basic arithmetic equation. So we added 4 plus 1 and we got the total. So this is just using one calc stage. But imagine if our process had, would look something like this. First we do one operation, then we do another operation, and so on. It could get pretty cluttered, and as a result, it could get confusing and hard to maintain later in the future. So that's why the amazing multi-calc stage exists. Now, jokes apart, the multi-calc stage is pretty useful it's going to allow you to add different calculations in just one single uh, in just one single place now it's structured very similarly to the just the calc stage so we have our variables on on this pane of the of the window that we can use drag and drop and uh, and create the different calculations before we do that let's create a few variables so let's create a few. Now that we have created those variables, now we can see different examples of how we can work with the multi calc stage. So let's create our first calculations inside the multi calc stage. So just like uh, just like with the calc stage, we can use different expressions. Now it doesn't show you on this panel, but if you click on this calculator icon, it will open the panel of just the same panel that looks like when you're creating or using the calc stage. So here we have our different functions that we want to do, and here we have our different variables. Now, as you can see. I have added the different text variables and they're showing here as well for easy and quick access. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to concatenate two strings together and after that, we will count the characters of the concatenated string. And this will be two calculations inside of one. So let's do this. So again, I went into the functions. Inside of the functions, I went down to text and I found the concatenate function. Now, if we take this variable and this variable and we hit paste, we can validate it to make sure that it's correct and we can also test it and see what would this produce. I think this is what we're looking for. All right, so we also need a place where we can store our, our result. So let's store it in the message. Excellent. Now let's create another function. And in this one, what are we going to do? We are going to calculate the characters inside of our result. So from the functions, we should select to calculate the length of the string. We should se select the length function. So let's see if this is going to work. And we should also store the results somewhere. Now I need another variable for this. So let's call this result number and we can and we can make this a number. So let's connect our multi-calculation stage. We can erase our previous calculation. And let's store this result number. Now if we refresh and run our process, we should get the first the result of the first calculation and then the result of the second calculation. The result of the first calculation 
is alone drag, meaning concatenating the two strings. And the result of the second operation is the length of the string, nine characters. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content that I'm creating, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know what kind of videos you would like to learn more about, and also what kind of technologies are you interested in. Are you just working on Blue Prism, or are you working with other RPA tools? I'm really interested in knowing. Please leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.